Hey guys, in this video we're gonna review how to make simple or basic provisioning for Vagrant environment. So if you don't know how to get Vagrant installed, please consider to watch my previous lesson where I explain how to get Vagrant installed. But in this particular video we're gonna discuss how to make basic software provisioning for the Vagrant installation. So I have launched my command line with git bash and from here I'm gonna go to the Vagrant installation folder. In my case I'm gonna go to CD, PHP Storm Projects and here I have a folder called Test Vagrant. Okay, I am inside the folder with my files and I do have several files here. The command will be ls to check them. The index.html file we have created in previous lesson just to make sure that Apache web server is running and we also have Vagrant config file. So let's make sure that Vagrant is running. I'm gonna launch Chrome browser and I'm gonna uh, type localhost 8080. Yes, Vagrant is running, everything looks fine. So as long as it's not launched on your side, the command will be Vagrant up. But I'm not gonna launch it because it's already running. So from here, what we need to do? Basically, we just need to do two things or two steps. We need to create file with uh, commands uh, that will actually uh, install the necessary applications and we also need to add this file to config of, of Vagrant. It means to this Vagrant file. So first of all, let's create this so-called provisioning file. I'm not going to create it in root directory uh, with my uh, web files, with my project, it's not a good tone, so I'm going to create separate folder. Let's call it uh, environment, for example, so the command will be mkdir, and uh, from here let's type environment. Okay, mkdir environment, looks good, and pressing enter. Okay, let's check, and we see we have the new folder here. Let's go to this folder, the command will be cd environment and we have no files here it's empty folder so let's create here the file called bootstrap sh the command will be touch this command help to create new files and let's call it bootstrap.sh or another word shell script let's open it i am gonna use editor vi and let's here add some comments. Okay, and uh, this first line means that it's bash environment or bash script. And the next is actually the command which is apt update. This command will help to make sure that we have Linux environment up to date. And then uh, we're installing PHP software because it's a part of my plan. I'm gonna use this environment for PHP project. And the next command is to install MySQL server. It's also part of my plan. If you would like to add more applications, you can list them below. Or actually replace uh, those rows with your applications. But make sure to put this flag, minus Y, as it will help you to automatically answer yes to all the questions that you will be asked during the installation. It really matters. Otherwise, uh, installation actually could get stuck. So please make sure to add this flag minus y. So everything looks good so far. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna click escape and type in wq. So we have created these files. Okay. And let's return back to the directory with Vagrant files. I mean the root directory for Vagrant installation. Okay. And from here uh, let's uh, modify our Vagrant config file. I'm gonna use vi editor again. I'm typing here Vagrant file and I scroll down to the very bottom near the end. Let's here add some commands that will help us to actually include this file. So I'm gonna copy it here and the command will be config vm provisioning. Here we actually explain that it's shell script and the path to it will be environment bootstrap. It's file which we recently created and this file contains command to install necessary applications. So I'm gonna save this file, wq, 
And now let's make sure that we don't have PHP and MySQL server installed on our environment. So let me log into Vagrant. And as you remember, as part of our plan, we are going to install PHP and MySQL. So let's make sure that we have no PHP and MySQL running on this Vagrant server. So I'm going to type PHP minus V. It should actually show the version of PHP as long as it installed on the environment. And we don't have it. And the same for MySQL. So no MySQL installed. Okay, let's uh, queue it from this Vagrant, Ctrl D, and let's launch the last command that will actually do the provisioning. Th this command will rebuild the Vagrant, including the new file which we created, and this file contains a number of commands to get new software installed. So the command is Vagrant Reload Provision. Let's execute it, and let's wait a little bit. Okay, it seems we have installed PHP and MySQL. Let's check it. I'm gonna log into Vagrant with command Vagrant SSH. And let's type command PHP V version. Okay, we have PHP 7.2 installed and let's do the same for MySQL. And we have MySQL version 5.7 installed. So we have completed basic provisioning for our Vagrant. If you found this lesson useful, please thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel where we're gonna discuss different software development and different software related things, tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and all the best.